Good morning guys! So today is August 1st, which means it is due date month and things are cracking down, getting so close to Miss Emma making her arrival. So I'm actually at Sam's Club this morning. I don't usually come to Sam's Club. I don't even have like an official membership. My mom lets me use her card. Um, but basically I'm here to pick up some stuff in bulk that we wanted to have around the house. I tweeted out last night that we would love some recommendations and so we're going to stock up on some things that way we don't have to go out as much. We're set on like day diapers and wipes and stuff for the baby but I meant more like for Justin and I so I'm gonna pick up hopefully pick up like some uh, paper towels and toilet paper water bottles if I can carry them if not I might have to come back um, and then like maxi pads just like some stuff that we want to have in bulk so we don't have to go out and hopefully they have everything we need so I'm gonna head in now and see if we can get some stuff stocked up for baby okay I think I got as much as I can right now so I am going to head to the checkout So I couldn't get everything that we needed on my list because either it was too heavy or they didn't have it. So we have to go to Target probably later, either tonight or this week at some point. But I will show you what I did pick up. So first I got Mr. a ton of cat food so that we don't have to replace it for hopefully like a month once the month starts. I got this big pack of just dishwasher packs so we don't have to worry about running out of these. I definitely got a huge thing of hand sanitizer for when people come to visit and want to hold Emma. A big thing of paper towels, I think there's like 36 and like a 45 pack of bath tissue. This will last us forever, so that's really good. This is not for stocking up on, but it's a big thing of pineapple and I'm gonna see if that's a natural labor starter for me. And then this is just a pack of snacks I thought for Justin and I when she's here, just to grab something quick if we're just feeling snacky, because they didn't have granola bars in bulk, which was weird, but I just grabbed these, but I will grab granola bars also. And a huge thing of Marie Callender's pies, because these are so easy, they're so good, so they'll be easy to throw in the, the freaking microwave when she's here. And then I hate dishes, so we both thought it'd be a good idea to get a lot of paper plates, so we don't have to worry about dishes after she arrives. And then lastly, I just got a huge thing of maxi pads, obviously, for the bleeding when I get home from the hospital. I actually really liked the hospital pads that they gave us, so hopefully they'll give us a ton to bring home, but then these are for after when it starts to slow down a little bit, and then hopefully I can transfer to like more regular ones. But like I said, I'm probably gonna go to Target tonight. We still wanna get like water bottles, granola bars, tucks, like a few things that they didn't have at Sam's Club or we didn't need to get there. I wish I could have gotten the water bottles there because they're way cheaper there than they are at Target, but I couldn't carry them and I felt weird asking for help. So this is a good start though. We're on our way there. Justin's gonna be home any minute, but I wanted to show you guys an order we just got in the mail from Zara Baby. Holy moly, you guys. Look at these little pants, which remind me of like, a little deer and then I got this bonnet which for winter I thought would be good because it's knit and it's a like three to six month size and then these are my favorite thing in the entire universe look at this jumper <laughs> oh my gosh I got it in a bigger size I think this one is 9 to 12 months yeah 9 to 12 because we don't have a lot of clothes for her that are bigger oh my goodness guys the cutest little jumper ever. I am so excited about this. So I'm gonna hang these up, put these away, and Justin should be home any minute. All right, guys, I am home from work, finally. Yay. And we are at Target right now to pick up the last of the big stuff, bulky stuff that we need for when Emma gets here, just so that Rochelle doesn't have to go out and go shopping or I anything like that. I think it's like just that, a few so. more things, like water bottles and tucks and stuff that Sam's Club didn't have, yeah. so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, and then since I'm gonna be working, it's gonna be hard because she's gonna need to be at home and I'll be gone, so we need to keep stuff around the house for Yeah, for it's sure. just better to stock up. Yeah. And if you're wondering why I look a little bit emotional, it's just been a long afternoon, but I'm feeling better now and we're gonna go get everything we need and I am gonna put on sunglasses inside maybe. Should I do that? I don't Should know. I grab some sunglasses from the Target section yes. and just wear them around just wear the store? <laughs> I think people will understand exactly what's going on because I'm pregnant and oh, they're gonna yeah. be like, she's definitely crying. Yeah, absolutely. 
Okay, so we got a few of the things we need. We got two big packs of water bottles so we don't get dehydrated, mostly me for breastfeeding. We didn't like any other meals really, but I got one PDF penguin. What's this one called? Bertoli. And then this for the shower afterwards. I was almost out of two needles. Silverware, cups, tucks, some wipes for either in the hospital or when we get home, and two packs of Nature Valley granola bars and a huge box of nursing pads because I prefer the disposable ones over the washable ones just because I know I'm not going to be wanting to do my laundry let alone I'm going to already be doing hers so it's just easier to get these and now we're just going to go grab some batteries I don't know where the frick they are <laughs> they're over by the movies I don't know which ones they are <laughs> they're by the, ba the, they're they're so by the batteries they're by the movies so we're going to go grab those and then I think there's maybe a few more things we would like want to just grab not today but like slowly on shopping trips but not like yeah. This is our big and then main thing. Really important is then we go home and eat. What are we eating? I, I don't have to know. What are we eating? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're gonna go grab batteries and go home. Justin dropped me off at home really quick because he wanted to go get some food, and I am kind of. I feel like. I'm getting contractions still, but like when we were in the car, Emma was moving like all over the place, like a ton, which is great. And I kind of feel like maybe I felt her dropping and going lower because I started to get pain, not pain, that's not the right word, like discomfort or like feeling weird lower and lower than I normally do. I usually feel her move her butt right here and her feet right here, like the two main things that I feel. And now I kind of feel like a little bit of movement down here, like she's going lower and lower into the birth canal. I don't know. She's kind of uncomfortable. So he dropped me off at home. He's gonna go grab food. Also, she gets hiccups like five times a day now. I don't know if I'll be able to see it on camera because they're little and they're so annoying. I feel weird saying that, but I don't know. It feels like it's like a muscle twitch that you can't do anything about it. So you just have to wait till it's done. I don't know if any of you guys felt that way when you were pregnant, but it's kind of annoying when she gets them. I'm sure it's super cute when she comes out and has a little baby, but right now it just kind of feels like a muscle twitch that I have absolutely no control over. Let me see if you can see it. Those are two little ones. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, Justin's gonna go grab his food and bring it home because I'm hungry, so I'm hanging out with this guy. He's just eating his toy on the couch. You need some mama snuggles? You need some mama snuggles? Okay, yeah, I can definitely feel her now, like, down low, which is good. So hopefully she keeps dropping. I always feel her feet up here still, though, and her butt over here. But it could just be that she's really long. Like, she might be a long baby, because they've said that before, that her legs are longer. So maybe she's just really long, and she is in the right position and is dropping lower and lower, but... We'll see, she's in head down position, so that's good. That's all that matters. Bo's mad because he can't pick up his frisbee on the concrete. Get it, come on, get it. It's like he can't flip it over. <laughs> I don't want to do it, you do it. Come on, get it. I feel bad not helping him, but it's really funny. <laughs> I've heard such good things about this show, so yesterday I decided to start it, and I'm on episode three, but someone is as much obsessed with this show already as it's I am. a good show. <laughs> I did not expect him to when like it. When first turned it on, I was like, what the heck are we watching? I know. <laughs> and then, that first episode was good. It was good. We've seen yeah. two episodes only, but it's, good. it's really good. I, I like it. anybody with a, you know, a... Uh, what? A heart that doesn't like shows like this. It's very. It's just broad. It's your good. I, have you seen the original Anne of Green Gables? No. What I is haven't that? either. It's like a movie, I think. Really? Mm -hmm. Old movie? I think so. Really old. Oh. Could be wrong. Correct me in the comments, please. But I know this isn't the. This is not the original. There's like yeah. a whole other thing on it. But we have been watching that, so we're probably gonna finish watching that tonight. But I'm gonna go to bed soon, actually, because I'm getting tired. Yeah, it's time Justin's looking not so hot. So he probably needs to go to sleep yeah. soon too. I think give tomorrow off. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he has tomorrow off, so that's good. But we are gonna go to bed. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow and update you on how she's doing. So see you then. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye.